You gotta try your best to just block that out. Yeah, and to just stop a lot of that bullshit when it first get on you. Like, oh yeah, you have control of your brain. Your brain is powerful. Like, you ever notice if you see something, mm -hmm. like somebody tell you about an artist, right? In one day, and then the whole next week, you see that artist everywhere. You're like, damn. But it's not <laughs> because that artist just popped up. That's right. because your brain just started focusing on it. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful your shit is. So if you keep telling yourself, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, you're going to see stress everywhere you go. You tell yourself, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. You're going to see nothing but blessings. Big facts, big facts. Like, I always be preaching positivity. Like, mm -hmm. whoever, if I'm talking to, you know, just my little circle, I always try to just check in. Like, yo, bro, how you doing? What's, yeah. what's going on? You good? The yeah. family good? Yeah. I always gotta keep that positive energy. That's no lie. Every time I hear from bro, it don't be on nothing but what's up, bro? Where your fam at? What's going on? Like, and that's Big that's face. the way we gotta stay. Like, it's important, especially for dudes, to do that shit too. Like, mm -hmm. tell your bros you love them, man, cause niggas is dying, bro. This this life is short, bro. Day people by day. Yeah, people don't need to be acting so crazy, bro. So motherfucking hard and shit all the time, <laughs> like. Definitely defend your own, bro. Stand up for your for your family, but you gotta show your family you love them too. Gotta show them, even when it comes to tough love. Like you could tell your homie something, like just from a a, a criticism, mm -hmm. critic. What's the word I'm looking for? Criticism standpoint. Yeah. And you know they might take that the wrong way. I'm like, nah, it wasn't coming off to being as like an asshole. I'm just mm -hmm. looking out for you. Mm -hmm. For sure. Just looking out for you. That's that come back to being able to listen, being able mm -hmm. to take shit from people. But then also, you know, you gotta make sure you're doing that shit at the right time. Yeah. Like I don't, I try not to, to um, to insult my friends or come at my friends no type of way in public. Right. If I'm gonna call you out for something, I'm gonna do it behind closed doors where it's not gonna take away from your reputation. Mm -hmm. Cause niggas be having ego. I be having ego. Like as an artist, mm -hmm. artists have a lot of ego, bro. Like artists be real insecure about a lot of shit because we want the shit that we put out in the world to matter. We want people to get the right message that we try to send out of this shit. Right. And if somebody look at you a certain way, they won't listen to your message a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like, you ever had somebody younger than you try to tell you how to spend your money? Like, what if a six-year-old come up to you telling you how to pay your taxes, you just gonna tune them out? Right. So it's like you ain't gonna pay no mind. Exactly. But the same thing happens when people be making first impressions of you. It's like, oh, he just a rapper or he a pothead or mm -hmm. he from here, he not from here, he don't fuck with this and that. So they don't even really give a fuck about what you saying sometimes. Right. So that shit. They just brush you off. Yeah. And then when you got and get like a little bit of buzz, they wanna come back around, like, nah, That's don't true. come back around now. That's true. It's like it's like high school when you when you be in high school and you don't really have too many friends, and you make some friends, mm -hmm. and then you know you graduate, and then a couple years go by, people that was in high school that ain't really gonna rock with you, they come back around, like yeah, don't come back around they now. See you got some juice and shit. Yeah, they see you, you they see you got something going on. Don't come back around now. But that's why I'm like I don't know you then. That's why you gotta try to keep the ego out of the way. Like, you gotta remember what you're saying as opposed to who you are when you're saying it. Like, right. A lot of niggas get so focused on their own hype and get focused on their own clout when everybody start hitting them up and they forget to put the work into the craft. They be like, yeah, I'm the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody hit me <laughs> up. Everybody fucking with me. I guess I don't gotta do nothing no more. But oh, no, you still gotta put the work in. Exactly. It's an everyday thing. Ain't nobody ever perfect, and the world is always changing. So, if you think you the shit today, ain't somebody gonna come behind you and do everything you doing. So you gotta make sure you know what they can do. You gotta just, it's a balance. Like, you gotta be aware of what people doing, but you can't compete with nobody but yourself. Big which facts. is a hard thing to do. Like, Big I haven't facts. mastered that. Cause I see some, and I still be like, damn, like, how they do that? Like, I wanna do that, and like, I look, he be mad mm -hmm. until I figure it out. And I'm trying to kind of get rid of that emotion. I feel you. But my fear is if I get rid of the emotion, will I have the passion? Because that's what motivates me. Like The fear. That, that feeling. More like that anger where mm -hmm. it's like, damn, I can't do that. I want to do what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? You just got to figure it out on yeah. in your own type of way.